Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to add Cisco Nexus 9000B image in EVNG. Let's start. So first installation step, as part of installation step, you need to first download the uh, Nexus 9000B image from the official side website. Then you have to create the folder under the Kimo because as we discussed in this video series uh, that EVNG work on the Kimo VMs. So you need to create a separate folder for this Nexus OS, then you have to move the image and fix the permission. This is a shorter like steps like previous ones, but there are a few challenges in the first boot up. You have to do few steps. Uh, these are the few steps which we are going to see practically how to create an image and how to do the first time boot up. So you have to do whenever you are created, you are create a new uh, Nexus OS on the EVNG then you have to use this first boot up setup then second time when you switch off and switch on you don't need to you know use the steps yeah let's start i've already have the image and i already use the uh, filezilla to transfer the image to my uh, temp folder in the evng you can see let me here you can see temp folder here you can see I have the EV image already have the QCO image for the Nexus. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow the steps. First, let me create a folder. So the folder is created under the Kim. This is where we, you know, uh, keep all the images for different vendors. And next is what we'll do. Let's copy this and change the QCO format, the QCO file name, right? So currently we have the QCO file name as NSX final 70.QCO2, but in EVE, you have to change the QCO image so that it will get recognized as per the predefined script in the EVE. Yeah, uh, this is also done. And next step is verify the image and then fix the permission let me quickly verify let me take you to the directory sorry it's dot two yes uh now i have the uh, nexus os image what i'm going to do i'm going to fix the permission i can do in any hierarchy but still i'm going to the root so unit lab wrapper Yes, it will fixed. So now it fixed the permission. Now let's add a new lab. The new tab. And let's just scroll. The sun V. Okay, I didn't lock in. Okay, I need to re-authenticate. You all know username is admin and password is E. So let me again create a new lab. Save. The lab is open. Now right click or you can add an object here. Let's type Cisco. Here you can see Cisco Nexus OS 9K. Click on here. Then as we did, as we mentioned, like I mentioned earlier, so these are the different versions. If you have different versions, you can choose the different versions here. Okay, so if you see this one Nexus to run, you need 8 GB of RAM and two CPU. Let me save it. I'm going to right click and start. It will take approximate four, four to five minutes maximum to boot up. Let me open a console. So that will get to know what are the process going on in the boot up. Now the switch has come up. Let's yes, guys, I had this issue. Uh, what I did is uh, 
what I did is I'll show you. I it is went to the boot flash. I did exit. So that's the reason username and password is not taking. So let so the first step is yeah it will like once you do a reboot again it will go to the loader prompt in the loader prompt you have to check the directory then boot the nexus yes then enter now it will boot yeah this is the first time steps only so even i got stuck i just checked the uh, previous installation then i found that it will go to the loader prompt then after the loader prompt we have to give the image yeah, you can see it is loading now. Guys, now the router has boot up now. Let me bring up the console. Up from the bloater, then you should say yes. So once we get the login, we will change the boot, then copy and start. Then you don't have to do this step every time. Let's wait for the pop to come up. As you can see, once the pop up has come, I entered the it asked for enter the username password. So it asked for to create the new password. So what I did, I created a new password, the eight character length. So it's asking whether do we need to <clears throat> enter the basic configuration. So I'm going to say no. Okay. Yes. So let me type the password now. The one I created. Yes. Now we got access to it but now we have to cha change the boot up so that when next time it boots up it boots up directly instead of landing into the loader prompt the command is same the boot so i have to go to config mode boot nxos then the boot flash i have to mention the path so this is the image you like to boot It verify the image and compatibility check. It takes like a few seconds. So what happens is like if you don't give this, then when you switch off your VM, and when again you wanna do the uh, you know run the VM and start, then it again go to the loader mode. Again you have to you know set the image. Then again you have to set the password. Then then the, the process will be repeated and you your configuration might you know uh, get deleted. So once you done, then everything will be good you don't have to do this step every time yes it's done now so i'm gonna do end copy running configuration to startup configuration yes yes now it is done and that's all guys uh, i hope uh, you guys enjoy watching this video it gives you some perspective how to um, create the nexus uh, 9000 v switch chassis on evng and if you guys like it please do share like comment and share it with your friends thank you very much for watching again